Good morning. Hi, guys. Uh, it is Friday, which means we get to do, do dictation, and I love dictation. I think it's fun. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and get into it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want a piece of paper, and you're going to want uh, a pencil, and you're going to want to make it look like this. So I have 16 lines plus two big lines in between, so we're going to have like measure one, measure two, measure three, and four. Um, okay, so if you need to, pause the video so you can go get a um, piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, hopefully you went and got your paper and pencil. Uh, so what we will do is I will count some rhythms for you and you mark them. Um, remember, if you hear just one, then you would leave the stick as it is and you would put a quarter note underneath it. If you hear me say one te, you would put a slash and then your eighth notes underneath it like that. If you hear one, then you, let's see if I can move this, there we go. If you hear one, since that's two beats long, you make a tie and you make your half note like that, one. And then if you hear silence, well, a silence is a rest, so you would turn your stick into an R and then you would put a quarter rest underneath it. So um, we did this last week, and uh, from what I understand, most of the kids in the district do this, so let's just give it a shot. Let's just jump in. Okay, here's your first example. I will do it three times, so you have adequate time to figure out what it is. Once you have marked the sticks, write the notes underneath, but mark the sticks first. It makes things easier. Okay, here's your first example. Here we go. One, three, te, four, te. Mark the sticks, then write the notes. Here it is again. Here we go. One, three, te, four, te. I'm starting y'all off easy. Okay, let's do one more time. Here we go. One, three, te, four, te. Okay, get your final answer, and I'm going to reveal on the screen what it is. Here you go. So we have one, three, te, four, te, so tie, and then two slashes. Uh, we have one, three, te, four, te. Boom. Hopefully you did okay. All right, here is the next example. Uh, it is measure two. And this one, uh, I'm only going to do it twice because I think you're probably in the groove at this point. So here we go. Three, te, four. And that's it. Okay, here it is again. It's the last time I'm going to do it. Mark the sticks first. Here I go. Three, te, four. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, Mr. Nutter, can I write it like, yes, you can write it like that. You know what we're talking about. Okay, so here's the answer. So we have the two rests, a slash, and then leave it. So right here, some of you probably wrote two quarter rests. However, some of you may have written the um, half rest, which just looks like a little box right here. You can absolutely write the little, little box. That's, you know, smart musicianship. Either way will work. And then we have eighth notes and a quarter note. Boom. Easy. Okay. The last one is the entire bottom uh, line. It is eight beats long. Remember, at the bar line, the counting starts over. So this will go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. All right. Here we go. I will do, I will do it two times the whole way through. Then I'll break up the measures. And then I will do it the whole way through again. And then we'll check our answers. All right. Here it is, first time through. Here we go. Two, one, te, two, te, three, four, te. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time, all the way through. Here we go. Two, one te, two te, three, four te. 
All right, here is just the first measure. Remember, marking the sticks just makes it faster because it's basically giving us symbols so we don't have to write out all the notes because the notes take longer than just slash and stuff. Okay, here is the first measure alone. Here I go to... And then here is the second measure alone. Here I go. One te, two te, three, four te. Working good? Okay. I will do the whole thing one more time, and then we'll reveal the answer. And you'll be like, oh my God, I'm so smart. And I'll be like, yeah, I know. Taught you. Okay. Here's the whole thing. Here we go. Two... One te, two te, three, four te. All right, ready for the reveal? Here we go. Whoosh. So there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm always in the way. Bam, here, I'll just show you my eyes there. All right, so we have rest, tie, rest, slash, slash, leave it, slash. So that turns into mm, two, mm, one te, two te, three, for Tay. Freaking sweet. I love it. Nice work. Okay. So what I want you to do down below is I want you to put a one, a two, and a three, and then tell me how you did on each one of them. So on the first one, if you did really great, put good. If on the second one, you did really great, you can put good. On the third one, if you, if it was a struggle, then you could write that like here, this is, this is an example. So like I wrote number one, good. Number two, good. Number three, struggle. <laughs> and that's okay. However you did on these, like, just let me know. Um, with my seventh and eighth graders, I eventually moved to melodic dictation where they would have to like put the notes on the correct uh, lines and spaces. I'm trying to think of how we could do that. Um, I would like to maybe do it on notebook paper. I think we could make it work on notebook paper if we like, you know, used our, used our imaginations. So I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Um, today's question is, what is a older song that you really, really like? Um, I just heard a song by a musician named ba uh, Pat Benatar. And Pat Benatar did a song called We Belong. And oh my gosh, I could just hear it becoming like a choir song. I think it would be so cool. Pat Benatar, We Belong. If you want to listen to it, what is an old song that you like to listen to? What is like, you know, music from let's say before you were born, that would be something that you enjoy listening to. I know a lot of you will probably say Queen. Queen is pretty fantastic. Um, okay, well, I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, take some time for yourself, put the homework down, uh, and maybe, I don't know, step outside and listen to the rain for a little bit. Okay, have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. Be safe, make good choices. Bye.